Hello friends, uh, welcome to the lesson 2 of our HTML programming and in this lesson I'll be showing you how to work with heading tag which will be a new thing to you, maybe <laughs> that's why you're watching this tutorial ok, now let's open notepad and type the code which we typed first I may pause the video ok, here's the code now, we'll be start working with H heading tags actually so the heading tag is h actually but uh, to denote the size we enter a numeric value from 1 to 6 which is which denotes the size of the text we are going to type so first let's see how h1 comes into the frame sorry you going to close h1 also there is a container element you have to open it then you have to close it also after the thing you have typed so if you have th if you want to have this text as h1 you have to open th the h1 tag before it and close the h1 tag after it or this won't work then I'm going to type h2 and then we have to close h2 then I'm going to type h3 yeah, we have H3 and close H3, H4, close H4, H5, close H5, and at the end it is at 6 and close at 6. I'm going to save this and open our web page yeah you may see this this is the first h1 is big h2 is a little small then h3 uh, smaller than h2 then h4 more smaller h5 and h6 at the last so as you can see the difference in this size occurs due to this numeric value 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you cannot exceed more than edge 6 or the let's check out what will happen if we go on edge 7 and let's see what happens yeah there is the default font size will appear if we ta if you go ahead then at 6 this is the default font size of the web page so if you type the numeric value more than at 6 you wanna have the default font size of the web page so as you can see in this tutorial we saw how to work with heading tag in HTML and that ends this tutorial and uh, I will be seeing you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.